Make no mistake about it that we have a whole lot of work ahead of us. Make no mistake about it that the time for change is now. Look, we have heard about the bad policies. We have heard about the struggles. We have heard about the lack of opportunities and the economic challenges. But make this a priority, that our time to fight is now, that there's a new wave of leaders coming on board. And those leaders across the nation are fearless. And they are our youth. And if you're not willing to cheer them on, I need you to stand alongside them and provide resources to make sure their message get out. One thing we know for certain, that in the 50s, we fought for equality and, and, and economic opportunities. In the 70s, we fought for the same thing. In the 80s, we fought for the same thing, equality and justice for all. But the time is now. The time is now that it's no more about talking. It's no more, it's more than just marching, but it's time for us to be in position to help create some of these policies. You know, we all have something that we all can use, and that's called a voice. If you don't have a voice, then you have sign language. If you don't have sign language, then you can type away and help get the message out. It's time that we take this woke to a whole new level. It's time that we speak for that mother who works two jobs and fights so hard to try to provide her family with a single family home, but she's stuck in the projects. It's time that we fight for that father who have paid his debt to society, but somehow our justice system continue to punish him by not giving him his voter registration back. It's time. It is time for us to stand together now than ever before. It is time that we really put a stamp on what has changed and what that should really look like. The fight that have came before us have gone and passed. Somehow, we, we failed to complete the mission. Well, we have that opportunity now. We have that opportunity for some of us to continue to fight of our ancestors who have come before us and said, listen, that my child truly deserves the best. That there will be no more red lines in our communities. That banks will actually give loans to those folks. But most importantly, that we as a people can come together and sit at the same table and do that one commandment that everybody loves to shout out, but seeing, but they don't like to follow, is to truly love thy neighbor. Because if you can love your neighbor, you won't create bad policies that continue to punish those who already pay their debt to society. If you love your neighbor, then you will make sure that policies that are written make sense and the child welfare system don't continue to punish that mother who's trying her best, that father who have given it his all. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Thank you.